often referring to herself as a patriot. Tonight, you can call her a free woman. Jenny Cutt will face zero jail time for her role in the January 6th Capitol riots. A federal judge senten sentenced her to two months probation. She will be required to pay a $5,000 fine and $500 in restitution. Uh, this sentence was for the one misdemeanor that she pled guilty to almost five months ago, entering and remaining in a restricted building. She originally had five charges brought against her. Jonathan Pulasic spoke to Jenny herself this evening. Man, Jonathan, what a story she has to tell. Hey, Tatum, yeah, in our about 10-minute conversation, Jenny Cudd says that the past year has been eye-opening, to say the least. Again, she will face zero jail time for her actions on January 6th. Jenny Cudd has one thing to say tonight. I'm definitely relieved that it's over, and uh, I do believe that the judge gave a fair sentence. A fine and two months probation. That's Cud's punishment for going into the Capitol on January 6, 2021. The judge ruling today that each case stemming from January 6 are standalone and should be tried and treated as such. One of the things that the judge made perfectly clear to the prosecution was that he does not agree with the government trying to act like January 6 cases can only be compared to January 6 cases. Jordan Fisher sat in on today's sentencing and many others convicted in the January 6 riots. He says among others, there was one factor that could impact a person's sentence. And another thing they really do take into, into account is character letters, um, uh, particularly if they're not from a family member. For example, Jenny Cudd got a letter from a former political opponent. I think judges really do weigh those. I think they take them seriously. Fisher referring to the letter written by Midland Mayor Patrick Payton, saying Cud is a woman who cares deeply about the United States of America. I'm very grateful that he he chose to write that letter and the words that that he said in there really mean a lot to me. She's a free woman tonight. Cud says she will now dedicate her time to helping others who are in her shoes, navigating court proceedings for the events of January 6th. I put together a little website, JennyCud.com, and list a couple different organizations on there um, to where you can write the political prisoners, you can um, help support their families, you can pray for them, different things like that. Uh, along with a wonderful organization called StopHate.com that has all of the different information about the January 6th political prisoners and their fundraisers. Now, after the sentencing was over, Cud, her fiancé, and her attorney could be seen taking pictures as they attempt to move on from this whole process.